Hello and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard tutorial and in this Tableau dashboard tutorial I want to show you that if you have any dashboard in front of you like this one which I founded on dribble.com and this is a dashboard design which is created by Isabella as, as you can see. So if you have any interactive design or something you know you that you like then how you can create that design within Tableau right so many times you know you get to know or you basically see a lot of amazing images of dashboard and you feel like what you can really do to create a dashboard like this so what i did is i created this type of a dashboard in tableau as you can see it over here and uh, there the same kpis over here you have a bar chart you have a pie chart and then these two tables are talking about the details similar to what you have it over here so this way whatever design that you have you can basically come over here and uh, produce it within the tableau without much of an issue and create something useful for your end user all right and uh, once i will show you that how you can create this dashboard then i will show you in after that i will show you five different ways that you can then take this dashboard to a completely next level based on my experience where i provide the advanced training the advanced dashboard training plus based on my work as well you know the way we receive the feedback from the business as to what the next level of information a dashboard should have is something which i will going to show you in this dashboard once i will complete the basic dashboard then i will leave you with five topics that you can take it up as the uh, as an exercise to take this dashboard to a next level so stay tuned with me because there is a lot going on in this dashboard and i will show you completely from scratch from where and how you can produce it okay before i move ahead first thing that uh, data set so for the data set you will come to my location this is the location which i share the link is present in the description so over here uh, the link the data set is present in the data set spreadsheet that's where the new location i have created because i have data spread across the places let's say in my training drives or somewhere else so what i do is i put the link over here so the dat data set which i'm using is a project management data set right and uh, what it has is basically this information if i go here in the data source so if you see what it has is the budget what is a budget what is a country project end date expense uh, location and overall project um, status that you can say on track or what uh, what is a planned date the planned start date and uh, medium priority what is a priority what is a project id project manager project name project schedule project type the so project start date as to when the project was started and uh, you have the status in progress or what it is and uh, percentage complete is something they have given and uh, you have the priority right so that is basically what you have uh, with you and then what do we need to do is we need to create this dashboard which is similar to the one we create we saw it over here right so i'll show you how you can create it completely from scratch okay so you have the data source so what i'll do is i will come over here and start creating this sheet so i will in small i will say kpi1 so kp so this dashboard you know whenever you define that what do you really need to create uh, you identify or you have the information as a requirement from your business that what KPIs they want to see, what charts they want to see and all. So over here, if you see these KPIs, what we are having is the uh, project which are on hold, project which are planned, project which is completed and in progress, right? So these are basically the different statuses that we have. So if I show you project uh, status over here, so you have completed, cancelled, completed, in progress, hold and plan. So I remove the cancelled and I keep only these four, right? So what I can do is I can uh, then filter and remove this cancelled and click OK, right? Now, in that case, what do I need is I need status over here. And first, let's say I want to show and if I, if I make an entire view, I want to show completed and in progress 
and uh, or we can show planned and in progress completed and on hold as a separate one depends on what do we want to show first what do we want to show second so let's say we want to show completed and in progress so what i'll make sure is i'll go here in edit filter and uh, we will say completed in progress so these are the two one that we will show and over here what do we need is basically budget and expense so we have budget right so this is your budget and uh, what is your expense so this is your budget this is your expense and then what do we need if you see over here what we have created is we have budget and budget utilization so budget utilize sorry budget utilization is based on uh, expense divided by budget so the way we can do that is sum of we can create directly over here or let me just show you how you can use the calculated field from here create calculated field and uh, we will say budget utilization that will be sum of budget divided by sorry sum of expense that is always the case based on utilization and that is your sum of budget right and you click ok so once you have this what you can do is you can put it over here budget utilization so what you get is 75 percent now what we need is simply what is a budget and budget utilization now it budget utilization is 0.75 or 0.80 so what do we do is we basically filter it uh, not filter it sorry format it format it based on the this percentage so that way 75.42 percent is the budget utilization now this value is coming one below the another but the way i have shown this is side by side so what you can do is you can come over here in text over here right and uh, what you do is you cut this paste this over here press a pipe sign and that's how basically you format it and then you make it central also for sum of budget what you will do is you will increase maybe till 14 and you click apply and that's how this information will come right so uh, we have this uh, and then if you want you can change the font from here i am keeping it the way it is because this is like very personal or companies to company it basically change so the way only last thing which i will do is i will make it little bit this light gray because if you see over here in dashboard we have a dark background so we need sort of a light number to display it properly now we have completed and in progress we will come over here in status and we will say hide label so status is gone uh, we can even remove the kpi so this is also gone this line is coming right so what do we do is we create right click over anywhere and say format and uh, over here we come in the borders we say row divider none so it's all gone now nothing is there the only thing is this particular value which is completed and uh, so over here in sheet uh, header i will say center and pane i will say center so this all information is now centrally aligned now the next thing is completed and in progress is something let's say we may want to change so we'll come over here in font and we have worksheet we have header in the header we will make sure that it is white it is 12 right you will not see it like you can see now i hover over you this is how it will be coming so this is fine now once we have done all of that uh, one last thing which also I will do is format and over here worksheet we will set it to none so that when it is in front end it, there, it will have no background color. So we have KPI 1 we will say duplicate it and we will call it what KPI 2. Now we have to do nothing but come over here status filter we just remove this uncheck these two and click OK and our two more KPIs are done on hold planned right so we have kpi2 kpi1 and kpi2 which we can then put it in a dashboard right after this we have this bar chart which is a latest year project so what do we do is bar prj prj is nothing but project so what are we saying uh, is 
So one thing which I will do is I will delete this, but I will duplicate this so that I don't have to do formatting and line and everything. And then I will change this bar PR check project bar and I'll remove everything, right? Status, whatnot. So at least some formatting in the back end is, is uh, intact in that case. So we have the latest year project. So what do we do is we based on our project start date, right? Over here in column, we will say month, right? Project start date and we will say project count, right? So we have this uh, project count. I'm just checking which field I need to do it. Take project ID, right? I'll just bring it over here and I will say measure count distinct, right? And we will say bar. So the bar is coming and we will say label show label, right? And these labels, as you can see, is coming pretty light, right? So the way we can do that is we can say right click format and in the format axis, we will say nine, nine is fine. Right. And shading is also okay. Dates, we will custom date. We will say MMM, right? And uh, then one more thing I will do is I will say filter. Um, what I'll do is I will choose basically directly from here. Start date. I will bring it over here. It will bring me the year. So that will give me the latest year, which is 2020. I'll select that and close this and this will give me this dashboard which I can then reduce the size keep it like this right and then I'll just make sure the color and everything so color is like this so what I'll do is I'll come over here and I choose the color which is this color right and so we have color we can uh, we can put title so in worksheet uh, show title and we will say latest year projects and not 15 but 12 apply latest year projects right and this will also be a light color so i'll choose this slide and click ok also these lines are coming which i don't like so right click format these lines which is nothing but row lines so i'll remove that it is big it is now removed also, I don't like this title, which is unnecessary present over here. So I'll double click over there and this open up this window. And now this is also gone. So you have only the month information and not title. Similarly, over here, you don't need this. So right click hide. So why do you not need this? Because you already have the numbers over here, right? So this is a bar project. Then what do we do is we right click duplicate because now we need to create what? pie chart so pie chart over here if you see uh, this is based on uh, the color uh, sorry the information about uh, the status right and the count of project and then the percentage is what we are showing on the this okay so we will say i status right and uh, count of project id is fine we are not showing this so we will say pi and we will remove the project start date as well on the angle you have this and uh, on the color you have the status you have multiple status like how many project got cancelled in progress so on and so forth so we basically need only uh, in my view, I am showing only two status, which is completed and cancelled. So that is what I will do it over here as well. Filter, uh, cancelled and completed. Bah. And all of that, I'll just remove it, right? So we have completed, we have cancelled. If the colors are not coming like this, so you can come over here in color, go to edit color. You can choose for cancelled, you can choose red. For completed, you can choose this, right? Now we need to convert this pie chart into a bar chart. Before I do that, one more thing which I will do is I will say uh, quick table calculation percent of total. That way I get percent of total, right? So what I'll do is now I will simply say min zero, some dummy calculation. You can say min zero, average zero, whatever you want. Min zero just to create two different tiles over here. 
right and uh, once we have done that then what i do in the second one this is my first one first calculation this is my second calculation i'll just remove that and i choose the color which is uh, i have to choose a color which is this one based on the dashboard uh, background so that color i have already selected so what do i need is basically this color uh, the background color over here the background color from here this one right so more color i will just choose 254 a8 e and i will show you how you can even identify this color uh, when i show you how you can create the background so 254 a8 e and you click ok and if i just go over here in detail this is a color right that i have to choose and then size i will reduce it wow okay yeah further more down yes this should be fine i believe right click over here and say dual access now the dual access is coming and we don't need this so we will say right click uncheck show header right click uncheck show header also right click format and over here sheet column divider we don't need it also over here in the lines columns grid lines we don't need any grid line we also need don't need any zero line so all those lines have gone so this is latest this is the title for latest year project but for this project completed and cancelled so that's what we will say Pro project completed and cancelled okay click okay this is what it is now coming over here pi status project chart latest year project pi status is done uh, finally what do we need is basically these tables budget utilization by project type so what do i need is a new sheet and we have the project type right and we have budget over here budget we have expense and we have the um, budget utilization right and budget utilization will be the format and percentage right and we can bring this down and that's how i'll get it and i'll choose the entire view right and uh, the name of this is budget utilization by project type so let's do that budget utilization by project type and click ok right budget utilization by project type so once we have this what i'll do is i will just duplicate this because the next table is also similar but if you see what do we have is the project details project name project manager and status and then these three project name manager and status so we will call this we will say project name and i remove that project type project name project manager and project status and then we can correct these figures uh, make it standard right so this is all coming fine and then we can make adjustments in the front end so budget utilization by project right because that's the base for each project you are able to see what is your budget expense and budget utilization right furthermore i'll just keep it like this yeah budget utilization okay so these two sheets and then finally we have to create this background so for background i will go to powerpoint all right so here i am in the presentation and here i have a blank uh, canvas so what do i need i simply need one shape which is this and maybe from here right and we can maybe say like this right if you want you can move up down little bit or you want to expand or how much you want to adjust is up to us based on our needs and requirements now the next thing is we need to format this so i need format pane 
which is over here fill right and fill what do we need is a gradient and uh, the way we need a gradient is something like this but the direction is like this so from dark is here light is here and it basically allows us to adjust how much light or dark that we want transparency and all of that for now i believe this is fine and for the background if i click outside this is my background and i for my background i will choose a slightly gray color so that it is coming properly also this border is coming if you observe so i don't need a border for this so outline no outline right so that it is coming like a proper shape so this is what very basic thing as you can see initially if you don't know it looks very daunting like what do we do but configuring it in tableau is also a different problem altogether so what do we do is we right click and uh, we go over here and we say where is that sorry not over here uh, in the file export and in the export what do we what do you need is basically a png format so come over here in png and say bg background right so i think i already have so bg1 okay so once we are done we are coming back here we are creating a dashboard um dashboard size we can change it but before that what i need is basically uh what do we need is um the image right so for image what do we have is the image as an icon so here i will show you some trick first what i'll do is i'll bring the image and fit and center i'll choose the image and i will say bg1 if your image is not coming like this then maybe your size is not equivalent to what i am having so i am having 1400 by 800 which is sort of a size of a slide and that's why i am get getting it in a full image so make sure you change the size if it is not coming like this or which is expanded to the entire sheet once we have the image what do we need as part of this trick is going to the floating problem is you know since the image is here so i'm back to tiled just to show you why it will not help us if i need to bring any sheet this is how it will going to come it will not come on top of the image but it will come as a side uh, as part of the section of this so half of the size is captured by this sheet and half of this is captured by image we don't want that we want kpis to come over here right and chart to come over here and tables to come over here so for that the trick is you go to floating and in the floating what you do is you bring the uh, vertical this vertical component you can you can bring vertical you can bring horizontal not an issue and then what you do is you expand this up right you expand this up and come over here right okay once you have covered this image with this container you come back to tiled now you are in a tiled mode in the tiled mode the first thing you will do is bring the blank over here why blank blank helps us put the component at the right place this is key this is one of the very important trick which i also teach in my training as how you can utilize blank as your friend when designing a very complex dashboard this is relatively complex dashboard not super complex but blank is very helpful to put the component now i have the blank over here and you can see it in the layout in the layout you have the background uh, image over here but in the vertical you have blank object so coming back to the dashboard what you do is you now bring the title so for title what you need is the text right and if you see one more thing before i bring that if you see i have title and i have this filter right so the way i will going to do that is by bringing the horizontal container now if you see i can clearly see where up until what place i have my horizontal container so this is my horizontal container because i put it on top of the blank and then this is my blank 
So I clearly know that this location is where I can put another container. So for example, I need another horizontal container. I'll come over here and I'll put it like this, right? So that way, my life is simple when I need to design this. So this is my first horizontal. If I go you, go over here. This is my first horizontal container. This is my second horizontal container. This is my blank. And that is why I wanted to teach you why blank using of blank object is helpful for you to create complex dashboards. Then third one is also a horizontal container. So what do we do is we bring it till down over here. We keep this up until here. We, this is already here. And now I can do what I can do is I can bring the text to the first container and I'll call it project management dashboard. This is up to us with the, what type of font and title that we need. Um, 18 is fine. Project management dashboard up to us. What do, what do we need? Um, maybe 20 and slightly less talk. Okay. Project management dashboard. Now I can, I have the option to put a filter, but I will do it later. Now I come to my second container. In my second container, I need blank again. Reason because I need to put multiple objects and to put multiple objects, I need some helping hand, which I get it in the form of blank object. So I have this KPI. So I bring this KPI. This is my first KPI. Okay. And in my first KPI, what do we have is basically so if you see, come over here, this is your first, second, and this is your text, right? So basically in horizontal, what do we need is basically a vertical first component, second component, and third component. So I'll remove this in the horizon over here. So far, I only have blank, if you see, but in the dashboard, what I do is I bring the vertical container over here and I make sure that I drag it till the place I need. Maybe I need KPIs up only up until here. So now I can clearly get this. So first thing first, I bring KPI one. Okay. I bring KPI two, right. And I bring the text at the top. So what do we do is we call it KPIs. In the KPIs, I'll just increase it maybe to 15 and I'll keep it like this and okay double click uh, center and I think what do we need is this so that it is coming properly so now I can remove this right click hide the title right click hide the title now my KPIs are pretty much in place right and now what I can do is I if I need some more formatting I can do which I will do it in the end but for now I will just start going to uh, put the component so I have bar chart which I will put it like this I'll maybe up until here and I will try this furthermore yeah so now you can see slowly it is coming all together and finally what do we need is pie chart and I don't need this blank object okay so as you can see as long as soon as we are pretty much good with the design, we have removed the status. Oh, sorry, the blank. So I only have these three components which I need for my analysis. Now another problem which has which it has created is if you see, I, it has basically brought up this status and all. So what I'll do is I'll bring one more horizontal con container, right? And I'll close this. So that way I have container uh, as a free container not occupied by legend and over here if you see this this is something which I don't need so right click and check show header and this is also we can format it to uh, to basically show the white color I'll let me do it right away and over here in the label in the label let's put it white and this one label uncheck in the dashboard now you're project completed and cancelled right so kpi is this and this so half of this is pretty much done and then another half is quite easy i'll bring the sheet first sheet and i'll bring the second sheet over here 
and now I don't need this so I'll remove this container and I have my sheet and which I will maybe bring up till here and this one we can just adjust it so that it is occupying the entire space right so that way you can see it's a creative process it's not very straightforward not easy uh, whenever we see any creative dashboard and my objective is that you are able to practice it you are able to you know create any dashboard that is coming in front of you like this so this is something which I also teach in my training as to how you can build dashboards like this step by step. And what I'll do is double click over here. Maybe I'll make it 14 and I'll make it a little bit light so that not a lot of eye is going over there and over here light. Okay. No, furthermore, this one. Okay. So now I have this, which you will see that pretty much like this. Uh, the only thing is these black, these basically lines which are over here. So where do you get the line? You don't have any lines over here, right? So again, your friend is blank object. So the blank object, what I'll do is, uh, let me first create it over here. So what it does is it basically creates a lot of big space. So I go in layout. First thing first, what I do is I remove this. And I change this to maybe this one. And then I come over here, edit width, and I say two. Width size two. So now you can see it is now appearing as a line. Same thing I will have to do repeat it. Blank object where here. Uncheck this, which is a default outer padding. And then color is last gray and edit height two. it will come as okay just zero make sure it is zero otherwise you will get an error like this edit height two and okay so you have a line over here similarly you can bring the line over here let's do it last time blank bring it over here uh, layout make sure this is all zero so you say zero and this is all gray. Come over here, edit height to height and done. Right? Same way we can bring it over here. So that's basically what it goes going inside when you create a dashboard like this, where you need to make sure that you have the control. Right? And finally, what do we need is basically one more filter over here. So in any chart, maybe over here. I will add project manager filter. Ideally, it is already added in my existing dashboard, but I will just go in and add project manager over here as well. Use all. So project manager, I'll come and filters project manager. So project manager is coming like this, right? So over here, if you see, if I try to get it, and uh, I'll try to bring it here in the end. And this is multiple values drop down. And you make sure you come here, apply to worksheet, all using this data source. So now I can select a project manager, let's say Abdul, Rex, or I want to see these two project or this one. Or maybe I don't want this one and maybe since I don't want this and only this one. So I can see all of their information without much of an issue, right? Or I want to see all, I can see all. So that is what it is all going on in creating a dashboard like this. Now the an, another thing you may want to do is you may want to remove this line, which is also a part of formatting. So I'll make sure I hit the save button. Okay. Once we have done that, now I will show you the five uh, steps. So five steps is also I have put it over here. The first step is the time comparison. So what I mean by that is that over here in the sheet, we are showing you overall KPIs, but let's say you want to view it for latest month and not just the latest month, but comparison with latest month versus previous month or latest month versus previous year, same month. 
or latest month versus previous quarter same month reason for this is business or the business managers want to do this comparative analysis so that they understand their business pattern whether it is improving not improving or what's going on so for that perspective time comparison is very much needed something which i teach uh, in my uh, in my training as to what uh, how you can create dynamic time periods like i just suggested which you should explore if you are advanced enough or you want to basically you know uh, explore more around this area that's basically the next thing you should do second thing which you should do is dynamic bar period that means selecting 5 months 10 months or what it is so what i mean by that this is basically showing you the latest year project but you want to tell them the last 5 months so last 5 months will be october september august july june or user should be able to say okay last 12 months so from previous november to current october right so that is another level of uh, advanced feature that you can provide to your dashboard now let's come to the third filter specific to pie chart which is quite straightforward but i will try to um, to basically make it really complex one is you can get a filter like this second is for this you want to bring a filter which basically says that you want to view it by for the latest week latest month latest quarter or latest year this is little bit uh, tricky as to how you can get it so that you know your user have control over the chart so you can go with very simple filter like this or you can go with the complex filter which i just selected which the pie chart should change based on the time period you are selecting all right now let's come to the next which is fourth conditional formatting on budget utilization very straightforward right budget utilization is over here budget utilization is over here so one thing is you can put a conditional formatting another thing is you want to put some sort of icon over here right so green icon red icon maybe neutral icon if it is neutral so find it out first thing you should do simple conditional formatting bring it budget utilization on color and you should be able to do it but think about how you would bring the icon over here okay all right let's move on to the last one which is filter based on budget utilization that means project with 0% utilization or project with 100% or more utilization so what i mean by that is many times businesses will not basically be interested in a simple filter like this they are really interested in a filter like hey tell me those projects which is in the range of 0 to 25% of budget utilization or tell me those projects which are only 0% uh, budget utilization so those are like different scenarios you know which you will going to get where you want to increase the analytical understanding of the business by providing them the feature so how you would create a parameter or maybe a calculation or in a way you know a filter maybe over here where they can enter a budget utilization say for example they enter 10 as a budget utilization 10 percent and they see every utilization this is that is starting from 0 to 10 percent so you will say maximum budget utilization filter in the maximum budget utilization filter you enter 10 percent and then you get all those projects which are starting from 0 percent uh, utilization or the minimum utilization and going all the way till the highest utilization which user has entered 10 right so how you would create a filter for these two budget utilization so this with this i leave you with a lot of thought process as you can see and uh, this is all present over here if you want to take a snapshot you can take it but or if you want to write it write it by pausing the video but i want to leave you with these five thoughts which is very dynamic in nature that's usually how you would see that after all of this complex uh, creation right which i taught you today uh, first thing is you will create this but then i I, I have told you five things which you would take to take this project to a completely next level for your business. And trust me, if you are able to show this, 
to your interviewer or someone or or let's say for your class project then you are going to get the maximum marks i believe one is the visualizations and all of that and second is being creative of how better and how much better analytics you can give to your end user with that thank you so much and uh, i will meet you in a new dashboard